Welcome back to Garage 31. Today I'm going to show you how to bleed your Shimano mountain bike brakes. So we got our 2.5 mil Allen key in there. Turn that anti-clockwise. It's only about three rotations till it's loose. And here's a, here's a good tip for you. If you keep the Allen key in and then you tilt it sideways, you'll see that the O-ring comes off with the bolt. The o-ring essentially seals the system. Now these threads are just plastic. So you to be really careful to get it in straight and to not over tighten. Once it gets snug then just stop. I've got my mineral oil. I'm just gonna pour that in top there. Almost to the top. So now we got this kind of pinky red clean fluid. So when we remove the old fluid from the caliper down, it's going to suck this new fluid in. The old fluid is probably going to be black, discolored. And then because it's dyed pink, we can visually see when the new fluid comes through from the caliper. Okay, so we can start to bleed the system now. So we're going to remove this rubber cap. And we can put the syringe on. Now the... Shimano syringe comes with this little black clip. Now to put this on properly, you need to leave, I don't know, a centimeter or so of hose sticking out so we can put the hose over the bleed nipple and then press the clip here over the top. Let me show you. So I can put the syringe on. You can see that the syringe is bottomed out there near enough kind of falling off now because I'm not holding it and then with a bit of pressure there we go so now the syringe is locked on to the to the nut there the bleed nipple and the syringe can just free hang from that point so if you, you don't need this part here but it does make it a lot easier Okay, so I got my seven mil wrench, wrench on here, a little bit of effort. So that was probably, I don't know, what, three quarters of a turn, maybe one full turn less, maybe even less than that. So just before we start to bleed, let's check everything. So we got our bleed cup on, it's full of fluid. The plunger is removed, the master cylinder is up. We've got the syringe with the clip on and it's about turned loose. No more needed. Now we can actually pull back on the syringe. You can see the fluid wanting to come up. So I maintain my bikes pretty regularly so this fluid isn't actually that bad. If you had the really old fluid, you hadn't bled your brakes in a couple of years, this fluid would be, would be black right here, but you can kind of see how the volume of, of uh, fluid coming out. Don't want to go too fast, just take your time. You also want to watch the uh, bleed cup so that there's no, so it doesn't run out of fluid. If you run out of fluid, then you're back to square one again. So if this fl fluid was still coming out black at this point, I would refill bleed cup, empty the syringe here because you can see we're you know kind of three quarters of the way up and then keep flushing from the uh, bleed cup down into the syringe until it comes out clear. At this point we're just trying to replace the fluid we're not trying to bleed the brake we'll get to that to the next step. This brake fluid is actually looking pretty good so I'm just going to push it back through so we'll start the bleed procedure if you had to you know if you're running out of oil at the top here which you know mine's pretty close want to close the caliper back off with that wrench you know get clockwise take the syringe off dispose of the fluid put the syringe back on open the system back up so that there would be a um, you know an empty syringe essentially and then fill the bleed cup up, repeat that process until the fluid comes out clear. But this is obviously, as you can see, it's, it's pretty clear. So we're not going to worry too much about that. 
So now we're going to actually bleed the break. And we're, what's different about the, the bleed procedure is we then push fluid back through up to the, um, up to the, the bleed ball, the bleed cup, suck it back down, push it back up. Repeat that four or five times, go nice and slow, so any trapped bubbles will either come out in the syringe or they'll come out in the uh, bleed cup. So let me just uh, push this back through nice and slow. Okay, so I'm just pushing the fluid back through nice and slow, see if any bubbles come out. Now that the bleed cup's pretty full, I'm gonna suck it back through to the syringe here, let's see if anything comes through. As the syringes age, they'll get a little bit sticky. Oh, there's one bubble there. Another one. So you can just kind of see how, how slow it's going. Probably takes, I don't know, 30 to 40 seconds to push it through one way. So I'm, I'm pretty confident there's no bowels left in this, uh, in this break. So I'm just gonna push this through until the bleed ball is almost full. Okay, so I'm pretty confident there's no bubbles left. I'm gonna turn this clockwise to close it. Grab my seven more wrench. Put it on the fitting there and just nip it up. It doesn't have to be tight or super tight rather. You'll feel it ramp up pretty quick just after you, you know, that's kind of one finger there, it's kind of as hard as I can and that's, that's pretty much all, uh, all it needs. Then we can twist the brake line off. So before I put the wheel back in, I cleaned the caliper off, uh, put the pads back in, uh, pad pin, just a reversal of removal essentially. Uh, removed the bleed cup, make sure you put the plunger in it else the fluid's going to drop, put the bleed screw back on here, adjusted the lever angle to match this side, and cleaned the, uh, the master cylinder off with some disc brake cleaner too. Now it's uh, all good to go.